it's about time. A re-release of the 2015 release Miles Axarod with Microphone has been on Cars rumor list since early 2019, and now in 2022 we finally have him, but not only do we have a re-release of Miles Axarod with Microphone, we're also getting a re-release of the normal Miles. It's really great to see Miles Axarod diecasts being released again. I believe we haven't seen any version of him released since the original release of Miles with Microphone back in 2015 in the Tokyo Party series. As somebody who really likes the Cars 2 diecasts and has always wanted to add more lemons uh, and spies and such to their collection, I am very, very excited to be taking a look at this guy. I'm very excited that he's back and what it means for the future of Cars 2 re-releases. This is the first Cars 2 villain we've seen released since, like, before Cars 3 came out. It's been five years, and man, it's been a very long wait. This is one of my most anticipated re-releases of 2022 so far, if not my most anticipated re-release. The car itself, in my opinion, isn't all that interesting, but I was just so ecstatic to see Miles Axelrod back on the shelves. Anyway guys, welcome back to another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Miles Axrod with Microphone, his 2022 release. So let's get started. I don't have the normal Miles here for comparison, uh, and of course I don't have the original release of Miles with Microphone, but he is basically spot on to the color scheme of his previous release. You might say, oh the solar panels on him are too dark, but they were this exact color on his previous release. Miles with uh, Microphone has much darker solar panels than the original Miles release for some reason. Now, interestingly and annoyingly, his name tag only labels him as Miles Axrod, not Miles with Microphone, and the fact that we're getting Miles with Microphone and normal Miles makes me think that maybe they messed up and we weren't supposed to be getting both, but now we are, although I doubt it, it seems. I guess it was planned. I don't know. Weird, though, that it isn't labeled as Miles Axrod with Microphone, especially in a year where normal Miles without the microphone is getting a re-release as well. He's using the normal Miles artwork, which isn't something I'm annoyed about because that's what they did on his original release in 2015. We have the small parts warning because, of course, he has that little microphone down there. For those of you who don't know, though, the microphone isn't the only thing different with him. He also has a different expression. Moving on to the back, we have As Seen in Cars 2, which interestingly features some of the Radiator Springs townies. Very interesting choice. I mean, it's not inaccurate. They were seen in Cars 2. I just think it's interesting that they're labeling them as seen in Cars 2. Um, for this year. You also see Miguel Camino and Shu Todoroki, some Cars 2 only characters. The inclusion of these guys in as seen in Cars 2 for 2022 does highlight that it seems the one of the main focuses for the 2022 Cars 2 releases is um like re-releasing cars from like the Radiator Springs segments of the movie. We're getting a lot of like 95 returns type cars being re-released. Otis, Mater with Balloon, who I can't wait for. Uh, even Miles with Microphone, of course, appeared on the Mel Dorado show. And there are some other rumors uh, regarding like the all-in-all -all scientists and such showing up. It seems that one of the priorities for Cars 2 re-releases this year is going to be characters from that part of the movie. Although this Miles, I said Miles with Microphone appears on the Mel Dorado show. Uh, yeah, he does appear with a microphone there, but this specifically is based off of the scene where he's like presenting the World Grand Prix racers and the McQueen, or sorry, Mater breaks in with the Wasabi. Very interesting what was done here. Of course, with the new uh, bubbles to keep the microphone in place, we have a little plastic seat. This microphone is the same one that we've gotten time and time again, although this might have been originally what it was from. It might have originally been made for this version of Miles, but, but don't quote me on that. I don't know uh, if that's accurate. It's since been reused for Bob and Daryl with microphones and Sweet Tea and Guido. Very nice little accessory. Miles himself is, well, he's definitely got a pretty interesting expression, but one that is very accurate to a very specific frame of the movie when he's announcing the World Grand Prix cars. The microphone lines up with him pretty well. And his mouth is just like gaping huge. Not as good of an expression as Palace Danger from McMuscle, I gotta say, but still a pretty good uh, face on this guy. I love it when we get variants where they just like change the face. I, I wish they did that more often, especially with the main characters. Mattel, please just Give us a year where you re-release the main characters just, like, with slightly different faces, okay? That would have me rebuying every single main character. 
If you released Steve Hersel, but like he's looking slightly to the left, I would buy that. Don't don't do that though. Don't please don't, please don't. I see I see you taking notes over there. Don't. We have the axle rod rating there on the hood. Of course, similar to the text, the Range Rover text you'd see on a Range Rover, as Miles is based off of a Range Rover. We've got the lights there, the grill, all of his solar panels, his uh, eco-friendly wheels. These always reminded me of like batteries. Uh, unfortunately, they now have holes in their sides. This seems to be something done on most Thailand releases. I had a problem with it last year when they had holes in Suki's wheels, which made them not look as good. I think Miles, Miles' wheels still look okay, but I prefer them without the holes. I believe his previous releases did not have the, the holes in the wheels there. That's just a Thailand thing. I have the little power outlet logo there. Of course, panels on the back window. Very hard to see the grid design on, on the windows there, but you can see it up top. Again, far darker than Miles' original release. Uh, I guess it's slightly more accurate, but I think the most accurate would be a mix between the regular Miles and this version of him. This part, by the way, this sort of like cap part on him is plastic, for those of you wondering. There you have the grid design on the back again. His license plate, of course, for alt energy, alternate energy. Got this part in the back. Not sure what that's supposed to be. Maybe a part where he gets plugged in or something. Not too sure about that. There's a look at the other side. Very interesting with the windows. <laughs> how there's a black outline, but they're still green behind them. Although, again, that's the same as how it's always been. And there is a look at the base. Like I said earlier, not the most exciting die cast, but it's just so good to see him again. And I'm, I'm, I'm very glad that we're getting a decent focus on Cars 2 this year. Hopefully we get some Cars 2 new releases as well. But even with just re-releases, I'm very happy with the representation of Cars 2 this year. Interesting that they're focusing on like the Radiator Springs aspects of the movie. Would have been nice if they focused on a different part, but it's not often that we get like Cars 2 Radiator Springs themed characters. So I think that's pretty nice. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.